James here. I'm going to have a look today in Animate Pro how to quickly set up a transparency over time. I did the same tutorial on standard Animate. It's just a quick tip and this is going to be a basic how to set up your first effect. First thing I want to do is extend the exposure of the tank for the full 60 frames. And then I'm going to go over here into Network View. I'll just clean this network up. I have a color card here for a background and the tank is just our image. You want to go to your module library and we want a transparency effect. I just want to drag it in here. And now you can see we have a transparency effect on it. I'm going to, the value is currently set to 50. So if you go to your camera view, you can actually see it in the camera view at the moment. Not all effects shown in the camera view. You may need to go over to this render view here to see the to see the effect. But some effects do show in OpenGL. Just because it shows in OpenGL on mine doesn't mean it'll show in yours. It really depends on the capabilities of your sound card. So that's something that if it's not showing up here, that may be why. Now what I want to do is I want to try to go from here we're going to set up in the first frame at 0% and then we're going to animate it to the last frame to fading out. Make sure your animate button is on and you just scrub to the last frame and we'll set it at 100 and it's as simple as that. You can also, if you don't have a curve on it, which I just created down here, you can change the values this way. But once you've actually put some animation on, this is the best way to change them. If you want to change the way that it fades in, like eases in and things, you click on this curve here and you can edit them here. So I can go click the first point and it'll give a little arrow and you can, so I'm going to make it sort of come in really fast and I'm going to move it this way so there's a sort of a plateau in the middle so it fades a bit, stays and then fades the rest and now you can see the difference that I've made by playing it and so obviously you can use that to do lots of other different things with your animations and that's just the basics most of the effects you can follow the same sort of process so I hope this helped